Tony with Kiva Volleyball and his sports performance. And I'm here with Leanne and Allie. And today we're going to go through the exercises from our article on sports performance training and ACL protection from Volleyball Magazine. Okay, first exercise we're going to go through today is the deadlift. Now, before an athlete ever lifts anything under a load, we need to make sure that our movement patterns are correct and accurate first. So Allie's going to show us how we put a deadlift into our muscle memory with PVC pipe. First thing we do is we set our platform. Feet should be hip width. Hip width means that our ankles are underneath and search you where her femur goes into her hip socket. From here she's going to hold the bar with the shoulder width grip, chest up, shoulders back. She's going to pull her belly button in the center core. Now we're going to drop down to a hinge position. Hinge position, we're going to drop down with a flat back. So as you can see, Allie has a nice flat back, neck to shoulder, head's going to be in a straight line, waist going to be through her heels. Now from here she's going to push to a stand by driving her hips forward. And up, good, and back down to hinge. And up, back down to hand bar, drags the thighs the whole time, and push back to a stand. Now, once we get that part down, we're going to work on dropping the bar down to our bottom position. So now, Allie's going to go to hand to hand. Now, she's going to squat down to mid chin, shifting her weight back, keeping her knees almost directly over her ankles. Now, she's going to push ground first, then hips to a stand. Go! So we go ground, hip stand, and back down to chin, and push, hip. Good, one more time, and down, and we're going to go into ground hips, ground hips, and up, good. And that's how you learn how to do a deadlift with PVC pipe. We do that because PVC is weightless, and there's zero chance of injuring an athlete. Okay. Now we've got our deadlift and our muscle memory, and it's time to put some load under the bar. We're using training place in a 45 pound bar. Leanne's going to show you how at Kiva, we set up our deadlift. So Leanne, walk into the bar to a hipless stance, all the way up to the skinny knees metal. Good. Now, chest up, shoulders back, sit your core nice and tight. Now, hinge, drop, touch, weight back through your heels. Back flat, utilizing your hips, push into the ground, push hips. Watch out your top, hold it, pause it, make sure it's clean. Sit it back down, drag your body, keep the uh, knees over the ankles, push. And hips forward and back down. And stop. Now, we cue every single rep as a single. That way we can set up correct to make sure the athlete's in proper possible position and that the athlete's angle through the foot is correct. One more time. And push. And down. And that's how we set up and do a deadlift with training plates to build foundational strength. Now we've got Allie back with us. Allie's going to show us how we do a kettlebell swing to build postural strength down the back side of our body. So we're building our posterior kinetic chain. And we're also going to be building hip weakness. When we build our vertical, we've got to be able to load that vertical quickly. The kettlebell helps us do that. The other thing the kettlebell is awesome for is helping correct valgus knee. Valgus knee is when the knee rolls inside of the foot of the ankle and puts the athlete's ACL at risk. The kettlebell helps to train the movement patterns to keep the knees over the ankles where they belong. So Allie's going to set her core nice and straight, head straight, keeping the weight through her heels. She's going to drop quick, just like on the deadlift, push ground, push hips. Loading the kettlebell up to right above eyebrow level and then dropping quickly to reload. Ready and go. Drop and push. And drop and push. One more time. Drop and push and rest. And that's how you cue instead of a kettlebell swing. Chest up, shoulders back, weight even through the feet with the foundational power going through the heel. Now we're back with Lee Ann. We're going to go to the next level on kettlebell swings. Kettlebell swings are awesome for building foundational power quick hip to help our vertical and stabilizing and developing posterior core strength. Now what we're going to work on is taking to the next level with a single arm kettlebell. Swing single arm kettlebell swings help us learn how to shear rotational force and control our core when the forces of gravity are trying to pull our core sideways. That's going to help in controlling our landings and keeping our shoulders over our hips, which is the next step in keeping ACL safe. So we have to the center platform. Chest up, shoulders back. Kettlebell on her right hand only. Just like with the, tip, with the two arms, she's going to drop quick, pushing into the ground, pushing hips to explode the kettlebell upwards. So ready, and drop, and push. And drop back, and push. One more time, drop, and push. And that's how you do a single arm kettlebell swing. Okay, now we're back with Ali and Lee and Bo. We're going to show two different levels of a drill at one time. This drill is going to be a squat to step separation back to squat. This reinforces our volleyball platform for defense and helps us learn how to keep our knees over our ankle to keep our ACL safe while doing so. So the first thing we do is we're going to stand with our feet shoulder width. Chest up, shoulders back, belly button in. It's important your core is set before you do any 
the athletic movement. Hands are going to be the neutral. And we're going to squat down, down. Now we're going to push through our right foot, step to our left, separate knees. Go. See, knees are out over ankles, angled over center of foot, chest up, shoulders back. Leanne's got a band around the knees, a theraband, helps to give force against the knee joint to make the outside hip stronger. Now step to squat. When you step to squat, you step back to your original platform. You don't go wider, you don't go thinner. You go back to your original platform and then up to vertical. Now we're going to go to step squat lateral lunge. So we're going to take a squat stance, Leanne. Feet hip width, shoulder straight, core tight. So squat it down, down. Now from here we're going to push off our right foot, rolling little toe, big toe as we push into a deep left lateral lunge. And go. And step back to your step. And good. That's how we do a step squat lateral lunge. That's for outer hip strength and working on our defensive platform and stature. Now we're going to take alley and show level two. Level two, we have a resistance band. Alley's going to, the resistance band goes around your hip, not around your belly button. And we're going to drop down to a squat position, putting non resistance against the band. Alley's going to step deep, lateral lunge. Go. Chest up, shoulders back, and step to a squat. Go and back up. And that's how we do it with the resistance band. To add another, another level of effort and difficulty to the exercise. Okay, now we're going to go into high neural plyometrics. High neural plyometrics help put quickness and they also build tonic leg strength. So the knee is stronger because the muscles tighter when the muscles aren't being flexed. This also helps to train the muscles to keep the knee over the ankle and the ankle over the center of the foot. That sweet spot that enables strong mobility and lines of force, and it also takes and keeps that ACL safe. So we're going to go with the lateral hop. Left knee up. Foot 90 degrees, torso flex. Hop right, hop left. Go. And rest. That's hop, lateral left. Do the same thing for the right foot, same number of steps, same number of reps. So now we're going to do another high neural for foot pattern and motion. This is a great one for foot quickness. You're going to stand over the top of your line of your stick. Put your right foot forward, left foot back, both knees bent, heels off the ground, shoulders squared, belly button and left hand forward. Now on call, she's going to switch feet and arms as fast as she can. And go! And rest. This drill limits ground contact, time creating a quicker footstep, and it helps to create a stronger knee joint. 